Hi everyone. Hi everybody. In today's video, we are going to be talking about drying drops or drying sprays and how to dry nail polish properly. And we're going to be testing these two products and see if they're actually helping. So we're gonna quickly polish uh, the three nails and dry this one without the help of anything. Dry this one with the help of uh, CMD Seller Speed, spray and <laughs> Seller Speed Spray. And then dry this one with the Essence Express Drops. This is CMD Vinylux in Wildfire. So the important thing about drying nail polish is how thin or how thick you apply the nail polish and how well you dry it in between coats. This makes a big difference. So I like to apply the first coat quite thin. Obviously, if a brand needs a base coat, you would, you, you would use a base coat. This one doesn't. a great color. Okay, so in my opinion, and many experts agree, that it is very important to let the nail polish coats dry as much as you can because what happens with the drying drops is they apparently they work we'll see because i don't even know if they work or not is that they will dry they will help to dry the nail polish but only the surface of the nail polish so if you pile on thick coats of nail polish it's not going to dry the polish all the way through. It's going to leave the underneath part wet. The way the um, polish dries is the solvents from the nail polish. So the first, usually two or three ingredients, they have to evaporate. So the drying drops help to draw the solvents from the surface, drying the polish quicker. So we'll see, we're gonna let these ones dry to see if they, in order to see if the polish is drying or not, you start seeing surface of the nail, the polish becomes less full and less shiny. So we'll wait a couple minutes for this to dry. In the meantime, let's talk about what actually are the drying drops. So usually it's a mixture of silicones and oils, and these two are quite similar uh, when it comes to the ingredients. It's a couple um, silicones and oils. So this one also has almond oil and this one also has almond oil. Mm -hmm. And jojoba oil, this one, and rice bran oil. So very nice. This one has a beautiful smell. Rice bran oil? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this one has a very, very nice, like a cherry kind of, no, smell. Uh, almond. Yeah, almond cherry, cherry kind of smell. Yeah, this one, I don't nice. think it has a smell. I just bought it today. Let's just check it out. No, it doesn't really have a smell, which could be a good thing and a bad thing. So as you can see, let me just drop this on my skin. This is very, very light. So these silicones do not penetrate the skin. They actually evaporate very, very quickly and they help the, the polish to dry quicker. So this is how it looks. They're not, this is not greasy. Now, so, could you hypothetically use that in between each coat to help no. them dry? No, because you don't want you want to be applying uh, polish on a very clean surface, and the the sprays or the right. drops will inhibit the polish from bonding to it itself, because they're oily, like they do contain oils. So you don't want to be applying this on top of oils. So you mm. want to be applying this on the very surface, on the top surface, mm. on the top layer. So this one comes in drops. This one comes in spray. I have to say. I feel that using spray is a little bit more effective because um, it sprays very evenly across the surface. This one tends to kind of drop in into one area, but we'll see how it applies. I haven't been using these kind of products for many, many years. I usually use this. So we'll see how this one kind of spreads over the uh, nail polish. Okay, so this has been two and a half minutes. Let's kind of see. As you can see, I don't want to be touching it with my oily hands, but this is pretty much dry enough. Yeah. But I always say, try to dry it as, as good as you can in between the coats. 
The CND Vinylax, it's supposed to dry in eight minutes. So we'll see about that as well. And also very, very important thing is that make sure that the top coat or the system that you're using um, can be used with drying drops because certain brands, for example, Dazzle Dry and even Infinite Shine, RPI Infinite Shine, they do not recommend using drying drops. I don't know what it is. They have, the chemistry is just not... Doesn't support um, it. Yeah, it doesn't support the drying drops. So just make sure you kind of read the instructions and see. With SE, you can use drying drops. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would leave this to dry for five minutes now, and we'll see how they look in five minutes. In the meantime, let's talk about pricing. So in Spain here, right now, I checked the price on Amazon. It's about 20 euros for four ounce, so 118 milliliters for CND. And the essence I picked up at a local pharmacy, I guess, drugstore or whatever, for 250. So when I actually did some math, this seems to be double the price of this one. Because per ounce, this is five euros and this is about 10 euros, almost 960. Wow. But sometimes you just don't wanna spend 20 euros on drying drops, right? Or the mm -hmm. drying spray. So we'll see if one makes a difference over, over the, the other, other one. Mm -hmm. yep. Another thing I wanted to mention is that it is a good idea to use nail polish as in a well ventilated, ventilated area, but it's not a good idea to polish nails outside because that moving air is going to make the nail polish dry too quickly and it will streak the nail polish or it will bubble it. So, you know, use it in um, indoors for sure. And as well, I am not a big believer in using fans. A little bit of a moving air is good, but very strong air or very hot air will make the nail polish dry unevenly, so I don't recommend it. And also moving your hands, um, you can very easily hit the nail, the nail and destroy the manicure. So I just recommend to kind of relaxing and not moving the hands too much and maybe gentle air movement would be a good idea, but that's about it. Okay, it's been five minutes and how do they look? They look pretty dry. Yeah. You can see the texture of the nails and they're not fully dry, obviously, but they're still tacky. Mm -hmm. But I think we can safely polish them now. Okay, I really tried to apply very even coats so we have a good comparison. And now we are going to uh, wait for a minute because on the package here or on the bottle, it says to wait one minute and then spray it. Lightning mist on nails one minute after last coat of polish or top coat is applied. Wait additional five minutes to ensure a thorough set. So this is what we're going to do. As always, it's best to follow the instructions. So we'll wait one minute. Okay, one minute later. All right, so this one we're going to spray. You can just curl your finger a little bit. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. And this one. Okay, it's not bad. It kind of spreads well. Yeah, so it almost feels like a very, very light oil. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to give them 
um, another five minutes like they recommended and we'll see how they are. Okay, eight minutes and 40 seconds. What do you think is going to happen? They're not gonna be I'm, I'm scared. Okay, so... <laughs> it feels kind of... Hmm. So this one feels quite dry. So now this was the, what do, you, what do we call it? Finger method, fingerprint method. Yep. And now this is going to be a stick method. Da -da. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You know, but that's impressive, I have to say. I don't feel that there is a big difference here. And this one? Yeah, no. You know what? This tried better. I can't believe this. <laughs> tried better without it. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Okay, so here's here is our findings. Let us know if you feel different or if you have a different experience. Yeah. We're going to give it another 10 minutes because maybe the initial time is not uh, a big difference, but the you know additional 10 minutes are going to show us a difference. Yeah. So kind of, okay, we're gonna wait for that another 10 minutes. Okay, so it's 10, off, 10 minutes, so at 20 minutes, we'll, we'll see. Okay. And just to wrap up, just so you guys remember. So what I recommend is to apply thin to medium coats, make sure that they're even. So don't overwork the nail polish because overworking it makes it kind of lumpy and bumpy. Yep. Um, another thing that is important is to dry the polish between the coats. So base coat, usually I apply very, very thin if there was a base coat. And by the time I'm finished with 10 fingers, the base coat is already dry. So there was no additional drying time. But between, sorry, this first coat of nail polish, I dry usually a couple minutes. The second coat of polish, I dry about five minutes. And then I apply the top coat. Um, another very important thing is that the nail polish in order for it to dry properly, it has to have a proper consistency. So the polish is not old and it's not lumpy. So if you must use a thinner, and I recommend using thinner that goes with the brand if they have it, and not to overuse it because you will never be able to achieve proper um, consistency again if it, if it gets too, too thick. So using it once is okay, but more I would just toss the nail polish. I mean, I'm talking from a salon experience, so I always want the best for my clients. I don't want someone to leave. And then two days later, the whole polish peels off because it was, you know, um, poor quality. So if you're using this on yourself and you don't mind experimenting, then hey, nothing bad is going to happen. But again, to get the best results for my clients. This is what, what I would follow. Follow the instructions. That's another thing because each product can be slightly different. Certain products, for example, Dazzle Dry or OPI Infinite Shine are exceptions. Dazzle Dry, you can thin out and you should quite often, and you should not use drying drops. Sesh Vite is another exception where it's a quick drying top coat. You're supposed to apply it over wet nail polish. It bonds to the nail polish, I believe. Don't use it much anymore. Not a fan. So again, I prefer to I prefer sticking to full lines, full systems. But um, you know, everybody's different. That's what I prefer to do because I know what to expect, and follow the directions, the instructions, written by a manufacturer. Because usually these products are made to work properly together, and you know what to expect. Okay, so we'll be back in a couple of minutes to see how they are drawing. Twenty-one minutes later. Do you want to do it? Okay, let's do the the unthinkable. Oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> this one is still better. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's ah. let's see. Can you see it's still dentable? Mm-hmm. I would say same, these two. This one's still better. All right, let the master of disaster 
to get. Okay, hold on a second, hold on. We need a lamp here. So we need to be closer. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. All right, so coming off kind of easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just clean this. Okay, this is a little harder, no? Um, no. No, that one actually just it gripped a little bit better. Oh. Well, that means that the bottom coat somehow I think mm. dried a little bit more. Mm. Yes. And this guy. I think that one dried the best. <laughs> Guys, can you possible? believe this? Can you believe this? I can't believe this. Yeah. Okay, don't damage your nail. Okay, this one still feels more wet, no? Yeah, it does. Yeah. It, it really does. Yeah, and try this one again. This Which one. one? Right. Let's try this again. No, this one is still wet. Yeah. And try this one again. No, this one is drier. Okay. It's a lot drier. Yeah. Okay, so here's the, the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did. It opened my eyes, that's for sure. I don't know why I am so disappointed. this should work, but I don't know. You know I what think... it smells like? Mm -hmm. We just wasted money. Yeah. Uh, we're going to try it again. We're going to try it again with a different brand, possibly. Uh, if you have any helpful suggestions Yeah, this, or in the comments, please let us know. Tips or tricks. Yeah, let us know in the comments section. Yes. I kind of feel like trying the uh, the ice cube method. I don't think it's going to work either, but... I am down for that just because I... You like ice cubes. Ice baths. Yeah. Okay. And ice cold showers. Yes. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Ciao.